Welcome again, my dear friends, for another beautiful, amazing video of Truck Simulator. Today, I'm in a Volvo bus and I'm carrying dry fruits. Look at that Volvo truck. It has a nice, amazing yellow, beautiful color on it. And we are here with some dry fruits. As always, again, let me open up the map and show you where we're going to go. So we are at this place and that is we are kept a bit wait is that the place yep and from there we're gonna all the way from there we're gonna go to kenya which is not in africa indeed it's usa so camp worthy so i'm really sorry for pronouncing it wrong i haven't been there and i don't know how to pronounce it so now i am there and i'm gonna be I was, i'm gonna go all the way from you to there with some dry fruits and let me go ahead and start up my truck boom okay so if you see i'm gonna set up the navigation to my desired option and here yeah, the navigation here would be changed to to my desired size and bang we all good to go let's hear the ribbing Yes, that's the ribbing of the beautiful engine. I missed it right out. Yep, indeed. Well, before we go, let me show you something which I've just noticed. And that's that guy in the back. He's always checking to see what things we have. If, if he has all the things ready, he's counting and seeing. He's doing the accounts right there in the back. Ooh, interesting job, isn't it? Do you like to work in a warehouse? If you do, you know what to do. Go ahead and give it a comment and a like so we can discuss about it <laughs> okay so let's go and put it in first gear let's take it off parking there we are and we're good to go let's give it a sound on that means it's time to go and roll and it's currently 5 20 in the morning yep it's beautiful 5 20 the sun's just rising People are just waking up, drinking their amazing coffee. And I'm here at the countryside again. Yet again, another day at the countryside to go ahead and let me turn on my lights because it's still 520. To go again and enjoy the day. Early, early to bed, early to rise makes a man healthy and wise. Why did I do that? I just went off the road. Off roading, right, just friends. Back. never ever ever do that it's against the law okay there's a truck I must have stopped at the signal get up put in brakes okay and the, the another beautiful thing today is this amazing truck in the back or trailer as nice image on it isn't it because it got crops, it says crops trailer. Well, that's a good thing. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's rock and roll. The day is just beginning. Time to look left and right on any main road to any base or any junction. And then I'm going to take and put in my siren right there. What do you call the indicator? It takes us four hours for us to go. And we shall be there before that. Because you'll never know time flies by time is very important thing in life so better be careful of what you do so here we are ah oh, that's a nice truck look at that truck friend stick my head out and we are on the road again well it's so cool to be a truck driver isn't it well you always have to think there was a story let me know let me know if you know the story if you ever heard the story before so there was this old man who goes to the beach with his young wife very young indeed so they both go to the beach and then the lady's there and the husband the husband looks on top he's old and he looks on top and he looks at it and he says wow he sees a plane you all see a plane and he's like look at that i wish i was a pilot i'd be flying above all the skies enjoying the weather and relaxing 
like that old man down near the beach. Of course, he can't see the old man down near the beach. He'll be able to see the beach, but you won't be able to see who's standing there. It's just a story and there's always a moral to it. So he sees this man down there standing next to the beach and the pilot says, I wish I was like that old man, I couldn't try. But the old man says, I wish I was like the pirate, earning a lot of money, not pirate, sorry, pilot. Of course he wants to be a pirate, most probably he's a pirate. That's why he's next to the beach, forget about that. So he said he wants to be one of, he wish he was the pilot. And that's the story. And the guy is down in the, the pilot says, oh, I wish I was an old man, I can relax. I just want to go home and spend my time with the family. I've been flying, flying for hours. And his wife, the old man's wife, looks at another lady. And another old lady, old couple sitting there. And she thinks, only if I was like that couple, I wouldn't have to be uh, was coming here, going out. I could just, I wish I was here, I could relax and enjoy the weather and the beach. I'm still enjoying the weather, but well, that's the life you're supposed to be living, not what I am currently. And but the old lady she looked at looked at this girl or the, this lady young lady who was looking or the set ambulance ah ambulance and me are friends okay so the the old lady looks at this this girl and says only if I had a body like her I, I would have the rich man that's the old man as my husband so you see it your friends and everybody's watching this it's just a moral. Ah, beautiful sun, isn't it? Look at that shining bright. Shining bright as the sun. So, right time. So the moral of the story is, don't worry about what others have. Everybody wants to be others. Just be yourself. Enjoy what you do. And do not think that you wish you were him, or you wish you were your, or you wish you had this, you wish you had that. Instead, enjoy every moment and every second you have. Well, now that's the story you gotta go ahead and send forward. While I drive this truck, you should never hear any moral stories again because the sun's shining and the view's beautiful. Look at the sun, mate. The place where I am, there's, it's not sun, the sun doesn't shine so bright <laughs> because it was raining. <laughs> yep. So I think we are just reaching Arizona, I think it was Arizona, I just saw the boat and it's morning, it's 7, 3 a.m. At this time, I normally get up, get up and go and drink some nice amazing coffee. I don't know if you guys are coffee pots. Grand Canyon? Did I just say Grand Canyon? Yes, I just saw Grand Canyon, it said Grand Canyon there. Albuquerque. Oh, it's 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 just telling the the how many kilometers you got to go. So currently outside it says it's 77 Fahrenheit. So I normally see our weather in Celsius and not that's not Fahrenheit. The fuel tank is not empty. It's good to go. We have three hours, twelve minutes to rock and roll in this amazing weather. It's 55 kilometers for an hour, and I'm supposed to take my right. No traffic left, no traffic right. And here we are. Ooh, almost amazing. Actually, it's kind of fast and it's good to maneuver and handle, unlike the other trucks. Uh, so, the, let me tell you another story. When I was real small, I lived near the mines, like the gold mines indeed. And there was. A place, uh, a place where they manufacture world war. I remember that part. And it was just like this. Lots of trees. Lots of plants. It was away. It was like in the countryside. Uh, that's where all the manufacturers are there. You see all the manufacturing companies. Anything that they manufacture. Like world wars. And maybe cars. And maybe bikes. You never know. All of them are out there in the countryside. Do you know why? Hmm. You might think. Why is that? And that is because of what uh, what the pollution is. So in the countryside, we have no lot of pollution. You got the sun, you got the moon, and you got the crazy people. Oh, I must take my right, right there. So, so the, all the manufacturing companies go on towards uh, building. Oh, oh, look at that! Thank God, I just saw that not once. 
Okay. I'm supposed to take my left. Everything seems to be okay. Taking my left. Okay. So all the... Oh my gosh. Look at that amazing sun. There's a train. There's a train coming too. Beautiful, isn't it? It's closing, so... I've got to stop right here. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at the train go. Morning train. Most probably they're going to work. You'll never know. Good morning, America. I think you guys watch radios and TV shows, that's it. Wait. Is this coming again or something? Put them as a train coming again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I just got saved. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Did you just see what happened? I just passed and the train just came. Good lord. I'm very careful in this place. Maybe I just crossed. Maybe it was red. I don't know. I haven't seen that before. Okay. Ah, that gave me the shock. I forgot. What was I talking about? Hmm. I was talking about village. I remember talking about countryside. Oh, the world of manufacturers. Yes. Why do people have things outside so it doesn't populate? Or, I mean, it doesn't have a lot of pollution. In the countryside, there's nice breeze, nice wind. And that's the reason they keep all things out there. So I used, when I was small, I used to take the bus and go to school. Yes, not the school bus. I used to take the, the public transport and jump on the bus and go to school. Sometimes my parents used to drop me. But what do you know? I used to see Volvo. Every Sunday when we used to go to church, it's time for Sunday Mass. And we had to go very far one day and that's... We had to pass Volvo and that's how we saw. I think a few months back I think I tried going to my old place where I stayed and I wasn't able to see Volvo. Maybe they moved or maybe I didn't go to the right route or route. Depends on where you are or what you do. Depends on how you speak. Yo. Okay. Well, it said Arizona and it said Nevada. Then it said uh canyon mountains everybody know about the mountains that you guys got uh you must have seen the movie narcos i'm sorry the series narcos or something like that uh, is it narcos oh no i'm sorry breaking bad yeah they go to the canyons indeed i think i have to be the right here i have to be right yeah let's take my right isn't this mind blowing this is life this is the life of a truck driver. Yeah. Well, he just has his truck and just him and his wheels and his thoughts going miles and miles and kilometers away. His wife's waiting for him for him to come back home. He, he might be gone for a week, two weeks, or a month. Stick my head out. Yep, everything seems clear. Yep, so you see, he'd be going miles and kilometers away from his family. And this is what he sees. He goes in the countryside, he goes on rocks, he goes on in the cities. And he enjoys every moment. Well, that comes back to the model which I was talking earlier. So, you gotta be like the truck driver. Enjoy every moment. Doesn't worry about what's gonna happen, he doesn't worry about what's coming just sits here and enjoys it but indeed my friend a good day uh, I could go and turn on the radio I think normally you turn on the radio but I don't want to do that now because copyright my friend copyrights are right there gonna get you grab your back and give you something you don't want to have so that's copyrights ah, look at this oh my gosh Oh my gosh, I was speeding, wasn't I? They took a picture of me. Uh, it's alright. No problem, it happened. When you, there's another thing I always believe in. When you can't change something, 
you don't worry about it. I could have changed that he's seen it. I never thought about me driving over speed and he's taking this he's already taking the picture now. But what I could do is precaution. It's better than fail okay. It's better than cure, that's what I say. So now I'm in driving 35 speed. Yep, so don't worry about things you can't change, your friends and people from other planets. Everybody's unique. So for example, if the cop took a picture of me driving, but I can't cry now, can I? I can't try cry and say, oh no, he's taking a picture, uh, what can I do? Crying and worrying about it wouldn't change the situation now, would it? It wouldn't. Yes, indeed, it wouldn't. Is my light still on? I think it is. Yep. So, don't waste power. So that's what I'm trying to say, so... Don't worry about things, what, hap what should happen, will happen. It's 75 degree Fahrenheit, which is hot indeed, because of this climate. But we are almost there, it's 1 hour 42 minutes. No, we shall make it. We shall enjoy this amazing place, away from everything. And relax. Truck drivers oh it's the Grand Canyons mate these are Grand Canyons indeed look at it I knew I was coming oh wow look at this site if anyone lived near Grand Canyons what does it say oh I missed it I must have slowed down if anyone lives here you live in heaven let me show you Grand Canyon is what you need. Look at me going off that. Did you just see the nuts inside the vehicle? I don't think you've seen it. Because <laughs> I didn't too. But you gotta be careful here. Isn't this beautiful? Look at the view on this. Uh, this is life. What's this? Drive, drive, loose. Drink, drive, loose. Okay, I don't think drive, drive, loose. Watch me. So do not drink and drive as well. Is that a cop? Yeah, it is a cop. Lots of cop in this area, aren't there? Because it's the Grand Canyon. You can bury anything you need. And I'm sure most people would do. Bury anything they want. Mm. It gets louder when it comes to the front. Fun part is you can go stick your head out. Ooh, that was good. Oh, look at the sun here. It's more hot. It's 98 degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh. It's 10 a.m. It's only 98 degrees. So they're expecting me in another hour and a half. Hour and a half or so, something like that. It's 98 degrees. It looks fantastic. The sun's up. It's 10, 13 a.m. Ooh, this is marvelous. A marvelous sight to see. Is that a snack? Is that a snack? Right. Ooh. Let's go on out. Look at the my truck. Cops, crops. Well, I'm carrying nuts, indeed. Nuts for people who need it. And that's me in the truck. There's there's a curl coming in ahead. Look at all the poles and electric lights. Well, I'm sure it's very out. I'm, I'm, I don't know how many of you guys uh, watched the movie Rango. If you haven't seen the movie yet, it's time you watch it. It's a beautiful movie as well. It's about this this rattlesnake. It's about not wait. Is it a rattlesnake? No, it's about a chameleon or a lizard or something like that. It's a good story. You should watch it if you haven't yet. Beautiful stories are for beautiful people. Who said that? Nobody did. Nobody would ever say that. Because beautiful stories are for everybody. It's for you. It's for me. It's for the world. Okay. Let's drive, drive, drive. But it's 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 marvelous. I'm okay. I don't want so much speed. Uh, I want to don't see how uh, loud as it can get. Wow. 
while this grass is green like how they normally say grass is green on the other side well I'm sure most of you guys don't know what it means uh, if, I, if I'm going a little bit slow I think I can read one of the signs for example if I put my brakes right here what will it say Kenyatta is it really Kenyatta Kenya Ken Kenyatta page I have no idea what it is. Oh, sh oh my gosh, there was traffic in the back. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, it's time for me to fasten up and go a little more faster. I have 30 miles, 37 minutes. 65 miles is the... 65 miles for an hour is the limit. Well, for, according to me, the sky is your limit. Not 65 miles. Ooh. Never do that as well. <laughs> Well, if you just want to have the fun, it's just games, you can do it, but never do that in real life. Then go like, Wah. don't do that, ever. Because it's very dangerous in real life. You, you might lose control of your vehicle and go crashing. Well, we're not going to talk about sad things here on this channel. What does it say? Ah. Red lights, red lights, red lights, red lights. Okay. Why am I reversing back? Neutral. Am I waiting for some vehicle or something? It's red bait. I'm putting my parking brakes. Stop here at red. Yep. Why is that vehicle stopping too? Is it because of me? Because I crossed the line or something? They're stopping too. Green, okay. Awesome. Let's give it on. Just in case someone's coming, you see. Well, look at this place. Oh. Uh, is that... Is the traffic light... Okay, they just bring it in. That's what she said. Okay. Let's see what is here written on this. And... Ah, oh, come on, I missed it. It's okay. It's always another chance, another time. I shall be driving again on the on the roads of Grand Canyon. The place where things go crazy. I shall be back. Oh, what's that pipe? Oh, look, I'm talking about the traffic. I think that's... They do something at the Grand Canyon. I completely forgot. They got some... Um, factories and building workers is that a bridge yep it's a bridge for oil yes so they take up oil they take oil yes not take up oil sorry but for sale something's for sale shopping center ah, of course you want to sell the shopping center and this is a beautiful place look at that that's something to do with the wind the thing that's going on top I'm sure that's the place most people go. That's maybe a place where maybe most people chill down and drink some cool beer. What if I speed limit? We are entering the city. And I'm supposed to take my left. So I'm going to put it in my left. Okay. Turn signals. Kenyatta! Discovered. Green light so I can go. What? What the... Are you serious? It said it was green. Oh, I don't understand the slides here, mate. It says red there in the front. Am I supposed to go? Okay, they're giving me away. I only crossed, so I'm blocking things. Well, I need to learn more about these. What's happening? Okay, I'm almost reached the destination. I'm sure you learned a lot. I'm sure you learned a lot today. Well, um, most of you are brilliant people, and everybody knows. Uh, everybody knows what to do when. I think I'm delivering nuts to this goods and foods. Yes. Yeah. So, if you guys, if I haven't told you what I'm delivering, pardon me. I'm going to reveal now what I'm going to do. I was delivering 
fruits and nuts. All those nice nuts and fruits for these marvelous people. I was delivering that. Now, is that where I park? Where am I supposed to park? Yep, I think. Uh, parking is a problem, is it? Let me reverse back. I think next time I come to destinations, I'm not supposed to speak. Okay, this is me. They say I'm supposed to park it there, but I don't see any symbol. I think I'm gonna call the guy again, like how I did last time. Call them and ask them where I'm supposed to park. Pretty up. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Um, today I'm gonna park right there so people can come and take it when they want or they can let me know. And I'm gonna contact the guy again and see what exactly could be done. Wait a minute. It says decoupling. Unlocking fruit. Wait, now I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to come here. And come in slowly, like this. And click on that. And then click on where do I ask them where you need to park it. And they'll tell me where they need to park it. And I shall reverse my vehicle back. and go to the truck which was here how can I completely forget mate okay ah look at the, look at the worker hello mate how are you doing yo do this sweeping stuff Alright, we are there and touch it and it'll show us where to park. That's us. We're supposed to park right there in the front. We can do that. Well, I'm sh I hope this guy shows us the way. Oh, wait. Is it parking back? Yup, he wants us to park straight backwards. Well, I'm going to do that now and I'll speak to you guys later on another episode of American Truck Simulator, the best simulator in Nevada, or currently we are at mountains. The mountain is Grand Canyon. I will see you guys later. Have a good one. Oh, that guy is still sweeping. Huh.